This is 6th grade language, week 33. Day 1, box 1. Declarative, interrogative, imperative, or exclamatory. Where do you want to go today? Okay, remember, always start with your interrogative. Is it a question? Then go to your exclamatory. Does it have an exclamation point? Is it exciting? Then is it a command? That's your imperative. And then if it's just a regular statement, it's declarative. Day 1, box 2. Make the following singular nouns plural. Desk. So what do we add to make it more than one? Like one desk, two, what should we add? Day 1, box 3. Write the possessive form. Several restaurant. Now, notice the word several in front of restaurant, so that means that you're going to have to make it plural first, then add your apostrophe. Remember, apostrophe S is singular, one, S apostrophe is plural, more than one. Day one, box four. Circle the better word choice. True, verifiable. Remember, they both have the same denotation, dictionary definition, but they have different connotations. So which one would be the higher vocab? Day two, box one. Circle the complete predicate. And then day three, box one, circle the complete subject. The moon is shining bright. So find out what the main topic of the sentence is, and that will be your subject. And then what the subject is doing is your predicate. Day two, box three. Add punctuation to make the sentence correct. And there are three punctuation marks in this sentence. Danny told Shelley, can you believe that he made an A on this test? Day two, now, for this one, be aware that this is not a quotation. This is not a quotation mark sentence, which some of you sometimes get mixed up with. Day two, box three. What is the meaning of the underlined word? When you are prejudiced against someone, you do not like them because of their race. There's other reasons as well, but think about what the word prejudice might mean. Day two, Box four, circle the misspelled word and spell it correctly. The secretary of the club declared the meeting over. So remember, take out the ones that you definitely know are spelled correctly and then see which ones you have left and look them up to see how to spell them. Day three, box one, we already did. Day three, box two, complete the analogy. Fly is to airplane as sail is to so you look at the first two words, fly and airplane, how are they connected? Then look at the third word, sail. What would have that same connection with the word sail? Day three, box three, circle the nouns in the sentence below. Neither of her old cars runs anymore. Okay, so which word is a noun? Day three, box four, dad released a belch from the pit of his stomach. Is it alliteration, which is the same sounding words at the beginning, like Sally sells seashells? Is it onomatopoeia, which are your sound words, like crash, zoom, bang? Simile, which are your um, comparing two unlike things using like, as, or than? Are a metaphor comparing two unlike things without using like, as, or than? Irony, when you expect one thing but get another, like a police officer getting a speeding ticket. Personification, giving something not human, human-like qualities, or hyperbole, which is exaggerating. Day four, box one. Circle the adjectives. I lost my most comfortable shoes. So find your nouns and then see if there are any words describing them. Day four, box two. Circle the adverbs. Jane sorrowfully counted how many of her projects were destroyed. So think of that verb, counted, Hmm, how was it counted? Day four, box three. The sergeant booted me out of drill camp. Booted, how is the word booted being used? Because it's one of those words that can be used multiple ways. It can be used as a noun, a verb, adjective, but how is it being used in this sentence? Day four, box four, circle the correct homophone. It's so cute when my dog wags its tail. There's T-A-I-L and T-A-L-E. Which type of tail is that dog wagging? Remember, if you have any questions, just email me or contact me through LiveGrades. Have a good day.